Let's take a moment to discuss the melting point trend for group one, the alkali metals. What you'll notice is that lithium, which is the lightest alkali metal and has the lowest atomic number, has the highest melting point. Cesium, the largest stable alkali metal, has the lowest melting point, which is completely the opposite of what you expect if you're considering London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces, and things like that. But the key to why this is the case has to do with the structure of metals. The structure of a metallic solid is a lattice of positive cations, picture these being Li plus one cations, that have given up their valence electrons, and those valence electrons are now delocalized throughout. I like to call it a C, S-E-A, of electrons floating around throughout this lattice of plus ions, holding the whole thing together. Thus, what makes a metal melt is to add enough energy to overcome the attractive forces between the nuclei, or rather the cations, that make up the lattice, and the electron glue that's holding them together. Now, cesium is a large atom and still only gives us one valence electron because it's an alkali metal. Lithium's a small atom and gives up one electron as well. Will that one electron have an easier time holding together two lithiums, which are small and more attracted to the electron because of their smallness, or two cesiums, which are big, large, bulky, and have less attraction to the electron due to their size? Well, the answer is lithium atoms, the smaller ones, are more attracted to the electrons due to their size, and thus it's tougher to separate the Li atoms away from each other, and that makes them tougher to melt. That makes the melting point higher. So let's summarize that in case you actually have to answer this. Smaller cations are tougher to separate from the C of delocalized electrons due to plus minus attraction. Now it's actually a Coulombic attraction. If you know about the force holding two charges together, you know it's related to the size of the charges, which are both one here, plus one and minus one, and the distance between which they are attracted. That's why the smaller ones have a stronger force of attraction, because the smaller denominator gives you a stronger force. And all of this is predicated on this being the structure of a metallic solid. In any case, that's the why. And by the way, boiling points for the alkali metals follow the same trend, although they are hundreds of degrees higher. All right, best of luck.